How's it going guys? So today I'm going to show you how to program a key card using our Skidata computer. <clears throat> so to begin with, you want to make sure you go to the customer administration tab down here. Click there, it'll bring you up to this screen here. Uh, by default it should be set up with the hotel employees, town park, and sentry. Uh, I'm going to program a valet card just to show you, but this is done the same exact way for other type of employees. For town park employees, you can go to the town park tab, click on this little guy here, and it'll bring you to the list of the current active cards we have here with all the names of the associates. Um, to go back, if you wanted to switch to the hotel employee, just click on the big guy right here, go to the hotel employees, then you can go from here to the list of employees in the hotel staff. So going back to town park employees, I'm gonna go ahead, if you want to program a new card, you can hit the new uh, new button right here, click enter. You can type in the name of, of the person you want to you wanna enter. So the surname will be the last name. Here I'm just gonna go ahead and do um, Valet 7. Valet 7. Uh, then I'm gonna hit save, below the save disk here. So you'll see that it's here on the list. Um, once it's there, you can go to control Parker. You want to hit new for a new profile. You're going to be a town park employee. If it was a hotel employee, you'll switch to hotel employee. So town park. Uh, you want to set this to neutral so you can get unlimited in and outs. Uh, and if you want to put this, if you want to put a message, you can just hit display message. You can just put uh, type in whatever you'd want. So you know, have a nice day. And this will show on the card reader as as the valet goes in and out of the garage. It's save, so it saves everything up to the computer. The, one that, the next step you want to do is you want to go down here to the bottom. It says pay station. Once on this screen, you go to issuing up in the top left here. Go to contract, and you'll see the one card that needs to be programmed is the one Valley Seven. Hit OK. It's going to ask you to enter the card. You get a card. I usually put the strap on the top with uh, opposite from the numbers, so you just get one of these little stickers. Put it on the top, take the card, stick it in with the with the tape to the left. Once it's done programming, it'll pop out. It'll pop out as you can see here, and it'll it'll write down what you put. So let's see, there's Valley Seven, the Town Park Associate. If it was a hotel associate, it would say hotel employee with the name of the name of the employee. Once you're done here, you can hit cancel on here and you are done. So that is how you program a card. So now I'm going to show you how to override a uh, pre-existing card. So I'm going to be using the same exact card I just made. Um, but we're going to pretend this was an employee who left the company and we're going to be recycling this card. So what we'll do, uh, put set the card down for now, we're going to go to a town park. Or if it's a hotel employee, you can go to the hotel employee section. Go to this little guy here for the users. I'm gonna find that specific one that I wanted to use. I'm gonna go to control parkers and I'm gonna hit defect for defective. So once I hit that, um, basically I can switch the name and you know, do whatever I'd wanna do. Uh, then hit save. So then you're gonna follow the previous steps by going to the pay station going to issuing, contract, then you're gonna have the Valley 7 here, you're gonna hit OK. It's gonna ask you to answer the card, so I'm entering the same exact card to a card reader. Once you put it in there, you're gonna get a message on the screen saying uh, key card, swatch already, charged, override existing data. All you gotta do is say yes, it'll override whatever's in the card, and it'll program it with the new settings. So here's the card. As you can see, the ink's got a little darker because it it overprinted what it was there. Um, but regardless, this card is good to go now with the new settings. And this is how you override a previously existing card.